Hi. Goodness, so it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. Been like a year and a half. Yeah, it's been a long time, alright. I've been doing a lot of project stuff by doing quite a lot of different things. Although I probably shouldn't have been doing that because, well, probably wouldn't have been a good idea to try doing like everything. But I've got a bunch of different projects I've been working on to show off, including my main project adventure. So today I'm going to be showing off everything I've been working on in the style of a Nintendo Direct. So let's, let's, uh, you know, you know, do the, do the stuff. And that was the Adventure Battle Engine. Yeah, I did kind of make it spooky in the second half, but I did have to entice you in some way. Ooh. Adventure Battle Engine is an engine made on scratch and serves as a proof of concept on how I want Adventure's battle system to work, be an RPG and all that. Mechanically, Adventure's Battle Engine is a combination of Paper Mario and Persona, with action commands and a weakness system, albeit tweaked in some aspects. Also like Paper Mario is a badge system baked into the engine, which can do something as small as a simple boost to HP to wildly different changes. To wildly different changes on how you play or use party members. Well, well, two. Creep Trap and Rashaw are the only two party members I've programmed in so far, and both only have one skill so far. There are also a lot of badges that work in the engine, but how do you change badges? I don't see any way to. Okay, well I do, but I had to build it up for a moment. Firstly, click C inside project to access the code, then click the stage sprite to select it. Find a green flag star block with the character stat scripts. And finally, use the useful badges comment to fill in which badges you want to equip on the badge variable inputs. And voila! Now you can mess around with whatever weird ideas I conjure up for strange builds. You can also change up character level and tool tier stats if you want. If you're a skill issued biddy bab. A total of three different enemies can be fought in the engine with unique attacks and. Well, this is a tutorial chapter. So they're not that complex, but there's also a secret boss that you have to stay determined to find. And there, you'll find out. You'll. Okay, well, you won't really find out anything because I'm not going to spoil my entire story within the prologue battle engine. But, uh, I don't know. My pack could probably use squeeze in the game period out of it, I guess. The Adventure Battle Engine prologue package is out and can be played right now on Scratch. The link is in the description. Hey, hey Queen, Jeff and Dolor, and I'm here to plug Street Jack's official adventure Discord server. So you can get the latest updates on Street Jack's project, even one outside of adventure, and get to play early books of the game before anyone else, while chatting with other people who are excited to play the game. You can also show off what you're up to, don't be shy, you'll even be able to chat with Street Jack personally, when he actually remembers to go onto the server. Join now, join now. Join now, join now, join now, join now. Wait, what, huh? Oh, she crashed again. Probably should be doing the ad shows myself instead of relying on some alternate universe robot running on MS DOS. Just, uh, hang on a moment while I set up the next transition. You've got mail.
yeah, that was it. Roughly about 15 <laughs> seconds of animation on this project. I, uh, I didn't really get much done on this one. So anyways, Adventure, the Animation Series Royal Golden Fest. I don't really know what to title it, to be honest. Maybe you can comment about it in the comment section below. Please? This series consists of my characters doing, well, anything I can't really fit into my game. As they journey around the world and internet, slowly realising over time that society is bad. I can't say how long it will take me to make even the first episode, but I promise for sure that it will be of the same quality of that. You thought that the animation was good, right? Uh, I mean, anything's better than Pokemon and how lazy that garbage anime- uh, Wait, what was that sound? Ah uh, well, probably irrelevant to this channel. Okay, pause. One, I haven't added in any music, so I'll have to edit in some right now. Two, I'll be honest, I actually edited the sound at the start to sync with Creature Vampire and Bouncing on the Team logo, which I literally only made to reference Mario and Luigi. I kind of just made the audio file have a delay to when it would sync well, and I probably should have programmed it instead of being lazy. So here's the main menu. I initially just had normal buttons instead of the icons you see below here, and even though they're a bit off in the layout since I did these a couple of years ago, they still look pretty good, but I'll probably have to update them later. You can even see the old buttons in the options screen, which... Yeah, I didn't update it with the main menu. Uh, next is the background. With this, I was kind of thinking of Deltarune's file screen when I was drawing it, and have it scroll up and down. I would have also updated it with each new party member you gain to match the rising group of the menaces. Yeah, I really am not being so about what games are like. Here's where the opening cutscene would go with a train sound and creep trap uh, explaining stuff. Although it doesn't work because it uses an old text box engine that I deleted for a new one, which we'll get to later. This cutscene is actually outdated because I have a completely different opening that happens instead of a black screen with train sound effects. Whoa! Look at all this stuff! This is a test overworld I created to showcase the dialogue engine and the tiling stuff I've made. Oh, and movement and stuff, I guess. Creature can only walk and run, but I plan on making more abilities you can unlock to use in the overworld, and jumping if I knew how to add it in. But that probably would have been a programming nightmare, especially considering how I've only really started out coding with C Sharp. Another problem I'm having is that Creature is getting stuck on nothing. No matter how much I change his hitbox, I don't know if it's doing it because of the sprites are small, or some issue with the tile's hitboxes, or Unity doing funky weird stuff. <coughs> If you guys know how to fix this, please comment below to help me fix it. Okay, dialogue and text boxes. Remember how I said I deleted the old text box engine for a new one? Well, it wasn't the best for this since RPGs typically have big towns full of NPCs to talk to, and I had to scrap it due to it only really working for one NPC, and then everyone else would say the same thing. Thus, I had to find a new engine with a text script function engine thingy. God, how do I name these things? By the way, realize how all the NPCs have their name be... Well, name? That's because I couldn't really find a way to change it. I tried a few different methods like adding to the script, but it just won't work. I think I have to add a function like to the text boxes, which is how I add in dialogue, and link it up with the dialogue typewriter script. Uh, if you know what to do with these scripts, then suggest how I can add in names. Finally, about dialogue boxes. I can't really release this showcase out because... Uh, um, I'm not the most experienced with coding as you can tell. When I'm running the actual game, not the playtest screen in the Unity editor, but the actual one I build, whenever I talk to any of the NPCs, this error message pops up. It seems the issue is because of an ill reference exception. If you know what to do, comment about it below, because uh, I, uh, because I, I don't really know what to do. Yeah, I know I keep mentioning about it, but it will really help me to learn about how Unity and C-Sharp works to improve on. Lastly, before we're done, the overworld tiles will sometimes not cover the background and there's this empty space... lines... thing. Where you can see the background. I think this is another quirk of Unity, which I don't know what to do, but it's kind of awkward and off. Oh, yeah, the battle engine part. I haven't started it. 
There's still tons of stuff for me to create and learn with all my ideas I want to share with you guys. And it's been a pretty big journey of learning what I want to do and finding my passion. But I'm hoping to make 2023 a big bombastic eventful year for us all with all I've got planned out. So see you guys in 2023. Oh wait, it already is. F Let us hide from us at a kind of lip. Got our eyes are still in doubt and fear. And sometimes, got our eyes on someone special. Things try.